Hey folks, today I'm going to replace this $800 personal recorder by a $100 audio interface to plug this shotgun microphone. And I'm going to tell you why, but still I need to go actually get the gear first. Can you hear the difference in sound quality now? That's the difference between my webcam's onboard microphone and my directional microphone powered by phantom power through an XLR plug onto the Behringer digital audio interface that I just received. Now, the question you might have if you're watching this video probably is, why would you pick a Behringer UMC2 2HD instead of the UMC24 HD? And what are the differences? Let's make things clear. This video is not about making a detailed, in-depth audio file review, uh, because there are plenty of those. And uh, the simple question I wanted to answer for the people like me who were looking at the models and weren't entirely clear and they needed some help to decide which one they should get is what is your use case are you using this to record podcasts video blogs streaming and basically using it for your voice if so you probably want the umc 202 hd because it's it's less expensive now if you have if money is not is no is no issue you might as well just get the 204 hd it's an overall better device it's just that in my case it was 50 percent more expensive this is dirt cheap so it was uh, maybe a hundred bucks instead of 150 and the, the chief differences between the two are um, this device will not have MIDI ports in the back input and output MIDI for MIDI instruments and it will not have um, analog inserts and what inserts are basically they are outputs and inputs for processing with another hardware device. So if you were recording with your microphone, but more likely a guitar, um, you would output with the insert to, let's say a compressor or some other hardware sound processing device, which would then feed back again into the same, um, same plug, into the same insert and back into this audio device here. And um, for me, this is not actually useful. All I care about is getting great uh, sound with my microphone, with XLR and uh, Phantom Power, which is kind of amazing that a device that is powered by USB can actually uh, convert that to 48 volts to power a uh, condenser microphone. So, in any case, you still have those two inputs, and the, diff the chief difference here uh, with the 204 model is that in the 202 model here, you only have the direct monitor button or toggle here, and the volume knob, and of course the jack for your headphones, your monitoring headphones it cannot mix the mono channel to stereo. So if you have only one input plugged in here, you're gonna get sound in only in your left ear, in your headphones. So if for you that is a serious issue, you might want to shell out the money for the UMC204 HD. But if you're like me and you don't actually care about monitoring your own voice when you're recording, or you can deal with the fact that it's only in one ear, 
might as well save some money and get the, T the UMC202 HD. In both cases, you get the same build quality, you get the Midas uh, pre-amplifiers, you know, you get fantastic sound out of this for really not that much money. Um, and that is truly pretty much the best uh, DAW you can get on the market at this kind of price point. So for, for simple podcast recording, streaming, tutorials, anything that's more about recording your voice with good quality, you might as well just get the UMC202 HD. All right, I hope this has been useful to some of you. And again, this is not meant to be an in-depth review, so I'm not providing uh, sound samples um, because they would actually be identical uh, on both variants of this model. If you like this, feel free to give me a thumbs up. Uh, you might want to subscribe to my channel, although I will say that this is not a gadget review channel. What I'm talking about is business management, development, to some extent, free and open source software, engineering, sustainable design, and uh, that sort of thing. So if, if those topics do interest you, feel free to subscribe. All right, folks, Jeff signing off.